platform to the mastermind project. The fundamental purpose of this project is to utilize an electroencephalograph or EEG sensor through one of many brain computer interfaces or BCIs available in the medical sector and process the raw brainwave data coming from it in LabVIEW and formulate a usable control output from which a human machine interface can be deduced. In layman's terms, what we try to do is control a robot using our brain. What exactly is happening is my EEG sensing equipment, my BCI, the mind wave is sending information through Bluetooth to LabVIEW. The brain computer interface like the Neuroska mind wave placed on my head actually gives raw EEG data. Raw EEG data is actually a superposition of many different waves. Each wave corresponds to a particular mental state, such as the beta wave corresponds to concentration or attention levels. Now we use this and along with eye blinks to control our robot. Since the electrode present in the USK mind is a single dry electrode, it's very close to your ocular region. Whenever you blink, a particular amount of uh, voltage fluctuation is also measured by raw EEG. So as you can see, a clean EEG now, since I'm not blinking, and whenever I hear a blink, I get a particular spike. And after a lot of experimentation, we came to know that on an average, uh, for a very normal blink, the minimum minimal uh, height of the spike is 400. When compared to 0 to 50, that's the normal EEG. So whenever we get a spike above 400, we start uh, counting the uh, start the iteration and start counting the time interval between the next consecutive blink. So whenever we get a consecutive blink in a prescribed time interval that has been defined by us after our experimentation, we count it as two. The signal processing is done on LabVIEW on the raw EEG waveform to bring out the attention levels along with eye blinks. And these two parameters are used to control the robot's movements. The power spectrum of the beta wave extracted through simple signal processing techniques gives the attention levels. The eye blink artifact is used to select the direction of motion. Double blinking will cycle between forward, left and right. Once the direction is selected, one can concentrate to move in that direction. The final part of the system is the lab front panel itself. It gives us an ingenious way in which we can implement neurofeedback for our application. The front panel displays all the information needed in which we can control the robot more efficiently. Neurofeedback, also called neurotherapy, is a type of biofeedback that uses real-time display of electroencephalograph signals to illustrate brain activity, often with the goal of controlling the central nervous system activity. The lab front panel displays waveform graphs that display information about the raw EEG data and also the extracted beta waves. Extracted beta waves is put on a scale of 0 to 100 that show our attention level. This is my back panel of my LabVIEW program. As you can see, this part of my program is for detecting the blinks. I have used shift registers to transfer values between loops. Once a blink is detected of a certain intensity, it enters into this case statement. And this case statement uh, measures the time difference between each consecutive blink and gives an output if a double blink is detected. The double blink will cycle between left, right and forward. This part of the code illustrates the signal processing being done. There is a bandpass filter being implemented in the VI. This cutoff frequency corresponds to the frequency of an alpha wave. This alpha wave is given to uh, spectral analysis after doing the F50. So what we get is the power of the alpha wave. After getting a blink and attention data, I send all this data after thresholding it. I send a string to a microcontroller, my Arduino microcontroller. It transmits it wirelessly to another microcontroller that is placed on the robot.